When school bells ring across AISD next week, it's back to the classroom for students and teachers. The district announced today it will not close campuses for remote learning like it did after Thanksgiving. KXAN's Jody Barr breaks down what led to the district to make this decision. With Texas's capital city moving into stage five COVID risk, school is back in session. We are between a rock and a hard place. There is no agreement even amongst um, physicians or experts. AISD announced today it had no hard evidence showing a need to close schools next week. The district is keeping the same safety systems in place it used in the first half of the school year, something the superintendent described as a success. Over the holiday break, the district's added even more plexiglass to schools where social distancing wasn't possible before. We do not take any of these um, decisions lightly. Um, it weighs very, very heavy um, on the fact that I know many people are going to be in complete disagreement with the manner in which we are continuing to keep our classrooms open for those who choose. The district says most AISD students are virtual, with only 18% showing up to school. The superintendent acknowledged a push to close schools next week. But one reason they didn't is because they did not want to risk not meeting the state-mandated 76,000 operational minutes, which would mean major funding cuts next year. When she makes the decision to reopen schools in such a dangerous environment, uh, we believe that the whole action was irresponsible. Ken Zarefus, the president of AISD's teacher union, believes the decision to open schools could put lives at risk. At what point would you all be comfortable in saying, OK, it's safe enough to return? Well, we believe coming out of stage five that it just makes perfect sense it, the, to be cautious, uh, to 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 err on the side of caution. The fact that ASD wants to go back to school as business as usual uh, couldn't fly in the face of our conditions where our conditions are anything but business as usual. And there's still a chance schools could close in the coming weeks. We do have the ability to actually close a campus or a classroom for up to 14 days if there are concerns with contact tracing or with cases. We are between a rock and a hard place. There is no agreement even amongst um, physicians or experts. This is a very difficult place, of course, to be. Jody Barr, KXAN. Well, the superintendent also pleaded with the public to push state health officials in allowing teachers to be part of the next phase of the state's COVID vaccine rollout. Now, currently, we are in phase 1B. Teachers are not in line to receive the vaccine for several weeks. 